Hello guys, we're back. So, what I'm gonna show y'all is the way that I bag my meats. I went to H-E-B, if y'all haven't went and watched that live, go back and watch the live, come follow my page. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how I package my meat, exactly how I uh, store it in my freezer, and that way it'll save you money on your food. Uh, you can buy the big roll, like I'm gonna show y'all, cut it down, bag it into bags, and that way, you don't have to cook all of it in one meal. You'll have certain different meals for your family. Thank you for sharing, Ashley. Yes, y'all, let me know where y'all are watching from. Don't forget to follow my page if you are new. Uh, let me drop it in the bottom. And that way we can be friends because I still have supper to make for y'all tonight. I am going to be making chicken strips tonight as soon as we get done here. You do this too, Elizabeth? Yes, it's so easy to do. I know that y'all were asking me the other day if I could show y'all how I do it so I'm gonna show y'all thank you for sharing I'm gonna pin my page at the bottom so if you want to see me cook tonight come on and follow the page but let me get into this so I can show y'all uh, let me know you're watching from let me know how your day's going and let's all share throw me some hearts up thumbs up and let's spam up these comments yes separating it is amazing I don't go grocery shopping for me but like once every two months you get ground beef for 2.43 pounds at sam's club it's 90 percent to 10 percent oh i'm gonna have to check it out yes it saves good money so let's get into it i'm gonna show you how i do it and i hope you enjoy my life so let's get into it don't forget to share our live please okay so what you want to do i'm gonna show you how it's so easy to uh undo Start with the edges because you will not be able to slice it all the way down. Yes, make sure you wash your hands. I just did that. But anyways, cut the edges and then slice it right down the middle. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna open up this edge also. And this is just so the paper lays flat. I am very particular about the way my paper lays. Okay. So, this is 10 pounds of ground beef. It is only 20% fat. But I use meat for everything. So, to save money, this is what I do. I take it. And I just cut it down into what I'm going to put them in the bags. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is going to make me twelve packs of meals. One pack per meal, I make spaghetti, I make, if I make burgers, I take out two, but other than that, it's seven meals. Let me wash my hands, and I'm going to show y'all how I get, how I bag. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute, let Yes, please, let's all share. Y'all do this to your meat too? That's amazing. Y'all, we have 323 people in here. Let's everybody share, please, just once. So take your bags and drop your meat in. I'm going to show y'all how I they last in my freezer the way I do them. I don't know how y'all do y'all's, but this is the way... 
and then I'm gonna show y'all how I pack it, uh, how I seal them, and then we'll store them. Yes, we have 357, y'all. Three hundred and fifty. Let's everybody share once, please. It will be so amazing. This is just a good way to, instead of buying like the little rolls and all that, because it does add up. I spent uh, 39 bucks. I think it was 39 or 25. It's something like that. I'm gonna look at the receipt exactly. Y'all remind me to look at the receipts and I will show y'all exactly how much I paid for this roll when I get done. But it saves you not only time so you don't have to keep going back and forth, but it's already ready. If you package it down, just grab a packet uh, out of the freezer, put it in some water, let it defrost until supper time, and this is 17 meals that it will make for my family, and there is five of us. So this will feed my family for a good month. And I bought two of them, so I probably won't have to buy meat again for about two months, and we don't need hamburger meat every day. So, uh, but it, it does save money, y'all. It saves money, money tremendously. So, just make sure, like I say, you don't have to want to try it, but I mean, hey, it's just an idea. Let me know where y'all are watching from. And if I can have one of my uh, followers that are always in my live to catch some of my questions that I can't see. Uh, yes, I'm putting them in the deep freezer. So that way people don't think that I'm being rude. It's just that I'm, I just can't see them all. And we have got two rows, so y'all stick with me. Y'all don't go nowhere. So this is what I do. This, I make spaghetti. It takes one, um, one pack to make spaghetti. Um, it is so easy to do. And all we're doing is putting them down. And I'm going to show y'all after we get done with both packs. So y'all don't go nowhere. After we get done with both packs, I'm going to show y'all how I uh, get them aired. Or how I fold them down or however you want to say it and get the air out of them. And that way we can bag them and put them in the freezer together. So as of right now, the first row... How's it looking like this? Now we are going to cut up this row. Y'all, we have 527 people in our live. Can everybody please share once for your girl? Drop me where you're watching from, and if you're new to my page, come and follow, y'all. This is amazing. The first time we have hit 500 viewers at one time. Yes, y'all, we're getting amazing. So, once again, cut it down on the sides. On both sides. Thank y'all all for the support and the love. Y'all, we just hit 646 people in here. I am so excited. This is amazing, y'all. This is the first time. Y'all, let's everybody share once, please. Let's get it. The House of Bullies. My followers are amazing. Y'all make my day so much. I love y'all. All of y'all. And if y'all are new, come follow. Come join. Let's go. All right. So once again... I'm just so excited, y'all, because this is like, I have never hit this many people on live. Y'all are the best. So, let's chop this one down. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we are gonna do our chicken also. I'm gonna show you how I bag my chicken. This is a great way to save money. It is simple, easy to do, and I promise you, it does save money. It really does. Yes, y'all, we got 756 in here. Let's keep sharing. Share, share, share. Thank y'all so much. So grab your bag and bag it. Drop them in. I'm going to show y'all how I drop, uh, how I fold my bags, and that way it saves the air out of it, and they last. I have hamburger meat that is in the freezer now that I had about two months ago, and it's still beautiful pink. So stick with me till the end, and I'm going to show y'all. We still have chicken to cut up, and then we're going to go to my deep freezer after we uh, seal the bags, and y'all will get to see how we drop these babies in the deep freezer. And they last, y'all. They really do. Thank y'all for the loves. Let me know where y'all are watching from. Don't forget to share, y'all. We got 847 people in here. Let's get it, the House of Bullies. I see y'all. <laughs> thank y'all so much for sharing, y'all. Everybody, thank y'all. So grab your next one, drop it in. And I promise you, if you try this, it will save you money. It really will. And all you're doing is taking and dropping it in. And like I say, it's not hard to do. Just off of two rows, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to show y'all the receipt. But I don't think, uh, I'm going to show y'all how much it costs, but it does save money 100%. Uh-uh, Jay. No, sir. Sit down, love bug. So grab your meat and keep it packing. We're almost to the part where I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to store this meat. And then I'm gonna show y'all how else I store my chicken. Yes, thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank y'all for commenting. Thank y'all for loving our page. We are in Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Okay, I'm going to put this one in this one. Okay, now let me wash my hands, and I'm going to show y'all exactly how I store the meats. Okay? Watch out, big boy. Okay. So, when it comes to this process, it's very easy. Hey, honey. What do you want me to do? Okay. Mommy's playing, okay. Mama's doing this right quick, okay? Ask Sissy to help you, okay? Yeah, no, Mommy's cutting meat and I don't want you on the table. Grab it, here, go. Mama, I did Thank you, love myself. Go okay, well, help your brother, okay? Okay, y'all, so you take your meat like this. Line it up in a straight line like this, okay? This is how you get the air out. Do not close it yet. Yes, this is 10 pounds of meat. Flip it over. Give it a good smash. 
And that's what we're looking for. It does, uh, what you call it, it is amazing. So, this is just out of two rows of 10 pound um, rows of meat. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly how many it makes before we do the chicken. So once again, just smash it to the bottom. This is just so it's easier to stack. Because if you leave them like that, they're harder to stack. You have a bunch of bags. This is just a good, easy way to get them to stack. Very beautiful. Very easy. Okay? So like I say, it will save y'all money. All right? This right here, if y'all can see it, this right here will save you definitely one. All you need is one pack inside of spaghetti. One pack into any of your hamburger helpers. One pack into whatever you're going to be making. Y'all don't, you know, meat, you don't need that much of it. It just costs so much, okay? So if you package your meat, buy you a row at HEB or any of your market. And if you package it, package it like this, it will save you money. It will last and it's a great idea and I'm gonna show y'all exactly how many we got So, we are going to just continue, and then after we put this in the deep freezer, I'm going to show y'all exactly how I do my chicken, and that way y'all can save on that one also. Thank you for sharing in Alaska. Thank y'all so much. Yes, I do this every time I buy meat. It is so easy and it will save money. So smash it down. And roll it out. Wait a minute, I didn't see it. What did it say? Your store doesn't sell meat like that? Well, you can go up there to the counter and ask them for 10 pounds. These are just the regular HEB Tough. These are quarter freezer bags. Yes, y'all, we have 840 viewers. Let's everybody share once. Let's drop us some comments. And let's spam up these hearts. Yes, quarts. Quart size bags. I'm sorry if I don't catch all of y'all's comments. But I will at the end. Oh, Zena, yes, ma'am. That's Miss Zena in the background. She's hoping she gets a bite because she they love raw meat. But not this one. Zena's not getting, today is not her raw meat day. If y'all are new, please come and follow my page. Stick around. We are going to be making chicken strips tonight. As soon as I get off from doing this, I will get the chicken strips started. And then we're going to have our late night hashtag. Where's all my hashtag? Team No Sleep. Live talk tonight. So we can all talk with each other and listen to each other. 
So make sure you follow the page, turn on them notifications. So every time I go live, you will be notified. I don't know how much it is. I'm gonna look. I don't think it's that much. Hey babe, do me a favor. Look at my wallet and see how much I paid for the rolls. That's what they're asking me. The rolls. How much did I pay for the rolls of meat? Is it 29? It's 29, he said, from he uh, here at HEB. Yes, y'all, it does last. That way you don't have to go keep going to HEB or you don't have to keep looking for meat. It's all ready to go. All you got to do is take it out and defrost it. Yes, let's keep sharing. Thank y'all for sharing so much. Thank y'all for the love, y'all. Y'all are amazing. We're down to our last three bags. And now I'm going to show y'all how I stack it in my deep freezer. Yes, hashtag team no sleep. I am so ready, y'all. I know it's getting late, so it might be exactly right after we cook uh, supper. But we will be going live tonight, so make sure you turn on that notification so when we do hashtag team no sleep tonight, we all can be a part of it. We can all support each other 100%. So, out of those two rows of ground meat, we have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five meals out of two rows. That's twenty-five meals off of what did I tell you? They, how much you say they were? About 30 bucks, 60 bucks. And you have 20 meals ready to go. So let's put them in that deep freezer, y'all. Excuse me, Ozzy. Excuse me, Ozzy, 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 Ozzy. Excuse me, 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 Ozzy. So everybody that wanted, uh, let me bring up. Everybody that wanted a picture from Nevaeh, let me know because I will be sending them out tomorrow, okay? Y'all are amazing. Okay. So let's, let me show y'all how I package. This is my deep freezer. And I put my meat. Can y'all see my meat? My meat go in the basket. So I'm going to be moving some stuff over because as y'all see, my, my deep freezer is full. I got these off the Swan Man already packaged. But I got to get down to just the hamburger meat. What we are going to do, I used to work at a convenience store, so y'all know the saying, right? The saying is, the new goes at the bottom, the old comes to the top. So that way you're never cooking, you never forget to cook the meat you already had. So we're going to bring that one out, and we're going to start stacking this one. I always put my meat up top in the baskets because it's so much easier instead of looking through everything else. So I just stack it all in the back. That's why I fold them down. 
because you want to stack them. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna have to start another row right here. And it's fine because I'm gonna be putting the chicken in. So the chicken will go on the bottom. These will stay up top. So that way I cook these first. And as y'all see, these are the ones that I made last, I mean, the ones that I bagged last month. They're still fine. Uh, say about two, three months ago. They're still good. They're still airtight. And I'm going to put these on top of those. So I'm not going to place any of the other meat up here because I'm going to do the chicken real quick. And I'm going to show y'all how I do that. So let's get our chicken done. All right, let's get this chicken done. Y'all ready? The chicken, I am going to cut, not cut. I'm gonna do the same. I am just gonna bag the chicken breast very easily and get it stored. Do you date and timestamp them? No, ma'am, I don't. Thank you for sharing. Yes, y'all, let's share. Let's, let's keep going. We're at 899 people in here, y'all. Let's go. Let's hit 1K, y'all. That would be amazing. And then we're going to get up there and do that fishing pole dance for real. So let me show y'all how we're going to do the chicken. I got the chicken breast. I'm going to take the bags out. And I only store two chicken breasts to a bag due to the fact that when I uh, when I bake with chicken or even my you know boil my chicken for my chicken and rice or chicken enchiladas or anything like that, I always boil just two because that is plenty. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank y'all for y'all supporting y'all's love. Y'all, we're at 904. Let's go. Let's hit 1K viewers tonight. Let's share, share, share. So, what I'm going to do is, I bought three packs because I have not really, like, bought chicken. I have frozen bags of chicken, too, but I like my chicken fresh also when I'm cooking. So, these are still frozen, and I just got these at H-E-B. They just put them out when we got there, I guess. Because these are all frozen. I just want to break them apart. So it'll be fine. I'm going to drop two of these in each bag. And you can airtight them the same way. They, they will last. Yes, it will save y'all money. I promise you that one. Because before I started this technique, thanks to my husband, I was going to the store and I was buying meat every other day, like the packs to cook. And he was like, you know what? We're not going to do that no more. And I just thought it would be something nice to share with y'all. Something that would, you know, it would take your family a long way. Now with everything that's going in the world with Corona and everything, everybody doesn't want to be out in the stores. So if you package your meat when you go the first time, pick up plenty of meats, then you will be able, uh, you will be able to stay up out of them stores and cook plenty at home, baby. Cooking home is amazing. Cooking from home. Y'all, we're at 939. Let's get 1K in the house. Everybody, please keep sharing. Y'all, I come like, okay, when I handle meats, I wash my hands, I sanitize my hands, I wash dishes, like, I am a very clean person. So, I mean, my hands are very clean. 
940, yes, let's go. So once again, I'm just gonna drop two in these bags. And like I say, that's all you really need. Besides if you're gonna cook like chicken strips, I got them over there. Um, I'm gonna bag those also. But these big pieces like this, you should only need one of these to make you some chicken and rice. You don't need that much, you know what I mean? So it will save you money. So like that one, he's going in the bag by himself. A family of three, I would only bag, if you're gonna make, like I say, meals, only bag the big ones like this by themselves. And if you're only a family of one, then you could probably cut that roll of meat down to about 20 to 22 by itself. Thank y'all for sharing. Sorry, y'all, if I don't see. Uh, I don't like to wear gloves. I'm country. I'm from the country. Thank you for sharing. So I'm only going to drop one in all of these. Because these are really big. And then I'm gonna put two in the last one. And I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna get the chicken strip one. So we are going to do this one, and that way all our meat is bagged and ready to go. And these are already thin sliced. So. I'm gonna drop two of these in each bag. And that way we are done. All right, so let me throw this away and I will show y'all exactly how I air it out and I back it. I mean, uh, put it in my deep Okay, so the same way we did the meat is the same way we're going to do this. You're going to get it to the bottom as much as you can because we want to be able to stack it.
get it to the bottom. Meat's not expensive if you use it wisely. It's really not. Meat's on expensive if you buy it carelessly and eat it care carelessly. Well, careless, my husband said. But if you use it wisely, it's not expensive. That's why you package your meat, you portion it out, and it will save you tremendously amounts of money. Like I say, it's an easy, great way, y'all, to really save money by portioning it out and realizing that you don't have to use so much at one time. It will save you money. Just give it a try. I'm not telling you you have to do it. I'm just saying it's a good technique if you would like to try it. And if you try it, send me some pictures. I'll drop it on my page. I'm just trying to show other women that shop for their families, that cook for their families, a cheaper way to doing things. So let's put it in that deep freezer. So the chicken's ready, let's put it in the deep freezer. Say hello, Zena girl. You don't want to tell people hi? Hello, Zena. Okay. So, let's come back to this deep freezer. And the chicken, I'm going to store the same way. And all I'm doing is dropping my pork chops that I got from the swan man down at the bottom. So I will have room for all the fresh meat I just bought. And that is way we save money at the House of Bullets. We store our meat, we package it, and we drop it in the freezer. This is my beautiful freezer. So, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope that y'all loved it. I hope that y'all try my technique. If y'all do, send me some pictures. I'll put it on my page. And that's amazing. Yes, you can freeze bacon. It's just as easy as bringing it out and putting it in the water. It's amazing. It saves you money. So, uh, thank y'all for watching. If you have already um, put it down, uh, if you have already followed the page, come and follow it. I will be live cooking uh, steak fingers tonight. So let me clean all this up. And my daughter, hey Amber, my nine-year-old daughter wanted to me to tell you hi. Her name is, is it Kimber? Kimber? Hi, Kimber. No, I don't put dates on my meat because I know when I bought them. So I will see y'all in about maybe 30 minutes. We are going to cook um, uh, chicken fingers from scratch. And then I'm going to make uh, mashed potatoes and corn for supper. So come on back. Follow my channel. I will be live in about 30 minutes to an hour. Turn on that notification. And I love y'all. Thank y'all for all the support. Thank y'all for getting us to 900 followers uh, live on us today. And thank y'all for so much love. Y'all are amazing. And I will see y'all later.